Hey, Nick Larovier here with Oculus Films. Uh, today we're out here to do a little fun lens experiment for a short film. Here with Marion, who's our lovely model for today. And uh, this monstrosity that you see before me is the Red Komodo with a Canon 600 millimeter lens. And a, right now I don't have it on there, but a Canon two times extender. So effectively 1200 millimeter focal length. And we're trying to go for that crazy giant sunset effect with the silhouette in it, um, because in the short film, there's some concept art. The director wants to have these two characters silhouetted by the, the sun as one guy cuts off the other guy's head. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, sounds cool to me. But I think tests are really important. You know, coming out here, I've never done this before. So I'm not gonna go out on set, just bring the equipment and just hope for the best, because I wanna make sure that we get the result that the director is asking for. And if it's not realistic or we need to make tweaks, then we've already done a trial run and we, we learn from that. I am using the Sun Surveyor app to figure out where the sun is gonna, gonna go down um, as precisely as possible. I'm sure it's not perfect, but. This at 600 millimeters, I can see almost her full body where she is at. Basically, she just have to go twice as far away and that'll be what we do for our 1200 mil. You probably need a heavier duty setup for this or you would um, do a higher shutter speed or faster shutter speed so everything's crisper and sharper and that way you go into it knowing that you're gonna have to do some stabilization so the image isn't jittering so that it's nice and, and smooth. So the challenge is the sun is going to set past that mountain. So I almost need to get it before it gets there. We want that sun behind them, but we've got mountains there. So we have to shoot up so we see them and the horizon at the same time. But like every little inch of height just makes it that more dramatic, the, the difference in angle. Because you can, you can see how like, you know, if you have two sides of a triangle like this, the further away you get, the, the larger the space becomes, you know, between the two lines. So that's basically what's happening. They'll be taller. It's a couple of guys. So that I'll add probably like another four inches. Marion's like five, six, I think. How tall are you? Okay, she's like five, six. So a few more inches there and we put them on maybe some apple boxes. Then I can, I can kind of angle up a little bit more and then see more of the horizon. I think that might work perfectly. I'm gonna silhouette her and I'm gonna do a quick shot for test and fun purposes. Longest lens I've ever shot on. I did like four or 500 millimeters when it was actually hot and you can see the sun, it's like, it looks like jello. So we did not get it. Oh, what? Nah, I know. The sun, what? it was in the wrong, not, the sun was in the wrong spot. <laughs> it was like, the tall mountain over there, mm -hmm. it, it like hit the top right hump and like went down right there. So it was way too high. And I thought it was gonna go down in the middle over there. So I guess I learned that you can't totally trust the Sun Tracker app to be like, <laughs> like perfectly accurate. Right. 